you know, for a second, you almost got a little mafia on us when you when you were talking about MFA and you were just like, do it, do it. I thought do you were going to re- <laughs> reach through the screen there for a second. Travis, welcome back. It's good to have you back with us. We missed you last week. Uh, we know you had a, a well-deserved and probably much-needed beach getaway. I did. And I almost filmed, we almost filmed a podcast from Mexico, but then I started having fun. I was like, no, let's not. Do yeah, <laughs> let's not. <laughs> that, was a, that was a wise decision. Well, welcome back to, to beautiful Colorado, cold but beautiful Colorado. It is beautiful when I look at it through the window. Yeah, through the window is gorgeous, but when you step outside, that's a whole another story. <laughs> totally different. But yeah, so we're we're kicking off a new year. 2022 is underway. So what a perfect time to do a little recap on the passing of another tumultuous year. That's kind of the standard now, right? Yeah, you, one, you, we've had two in a row, and then with next year being a, probably a third, it, then it'll just be a normal year. Well, newsflash, everyone, just because the page on the on the calendar changes doesn't mean that all of our problems go away. I'm measuring I'm measuring how we're doing right now in terms of how many volcanoes are erupting simultaneously. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, you know, how's it going? Well, we're about we're about 17 volcanoes. Right 17, active right it. now. So that's, that's not bad. <laughs> I've seen worse. Yeah, it was up to like 60. So, you know, not too bad. Well, speaking of volcanoes, 2021. The biggest volcano that kind of carried over from from last year, we could call uh, Mount COVID-19, right? So just jumping straight into it, COVID-19, what are some of the biggest lessons that this pandemic has taught us over the last over the last year or, or more than a year, actually? Yeah, we need to be flexible. That's what I think the big thing as business owners and as IT persons, uh, you know, or professionals, we need to be flexible. We need to make sure that our technology is, uh, if possible, usable from just about anywhere um, and still secure. And that's, I think, something that really hasn't changed. And I think there's a lot of people out there who still, you know, they feel they feel like maybe the pandemic's ending and maybe things are over with. But I would say, you know, if, if there's one thing I've seen, this isn't over with and you still need to remain um, ready to send people home. You need to be, um, if you haven't changed your business permanently yet to accommodate this style of work, I'd say go ahead and do it because I don't see it really changing now. A lot of businesses did um, permanently embrace the work from home model. We have, you know, as one of one of the things we've done as a company now is coming to the office is very much so optional. Um, there are people who want to be in the office, and so we try to make that safe. But our technology, all of our strategy has changed and focused on flexibility and allowing people to work where they are because, you know, things change rapidly. And I would say that if you really like the whole work from the office model. That's your preference. You still will benefit from having technology that embraces this flexibility. Um, because if, again, if things do change and you do need to send folks home, or if you have people who want to travel, maybe they have uh, things that come up in their life and they'd like to still get some work done, but they need some additional flexibility. Maybe there's a tragedy in the family, and uh, but it's not something that they've decided to fully commit to taking time off for. Uh, and you, you're allowing that in your organization, the technology will allow you to be uh, able to accommodate them. Or if you yourself are a business owner and you like to travel, but you also like to stay on top of things uh, while you're gone, then making sure that you've implemented um, things like VPNs or uh, better yet, um, Microsoft Intune and mobile device management or Office 365 and SharePoint, different cloud services, then you know, you're know you going to be able to uh, get your work done no matter where you're at. So that's a big one. Yeah. Uh, with what you were talking about, it it brings to mind a word that we've been hearing a lot lately. That word is pivot and how businesses have to be be able to pivot. Um, COVID-19, whether businesses want to or not, has taught taught them that you got to be able to to pivot and adapt. Uh, really, it's adapt or die nowadays. Um, sadly, that's that's the case. But um but yeah, those are some great reminders for uh, that that uh, the COVID nineteen has 
COVID-19 pandemic has taught us. And like you, like you mentioned, unfortunately, it's not over. So um, lessons we're still learning from that. Um, another thing that we've, we've seen a lot of this year is hackers, ransomware attacks, cyber attacks. Um, Tons. What are some of the lessons or that we've learned from that or some of the things that we've seen over the over the last they're, year about that? Yeah, they're not, uh, you know, they're, they're not going away and um, they're increasing and their frequency and intensity is increasing. And so, you know, this year was hard and I think next year is going to be even harder and people need to prepare against it. You know, there are a lot of um, things that were exploited even here at the end of the year, even here in December, we've had the log forge or maybe you would like to call it Log4j. A lot of people call it that, but Log4j, um, you know, issue, it's massive. And so we've seen, I think, three or four of the biggest uh, hacks we've ever seen. You know, they're up there in the top 10, and they all happened this year, in one year. It's crazy. And so cybersecurity is a major issue. You've got to pay attention to it in your organization. You have to. And um, you have to start acting on it, you know, right away and start implementing some of the changes and the fixes we've recommended. Plain and simple. So um, as you mentioned, some of the things that we've already mentioned in some of our previous podcasts, since we're doing a recap, we'll recap some of our, our podcasts um, over the last year and some of the the highlights um, or the main points that we want to reiterate or Travis that you'd like to reiterate to, especially to business owners, um, keeping in mind these things that we've already mentioned, COVID-19 and b being able to pivot, keeping in mind cyber attacks um, and uh, securities, vulnerabilities. Um, what are what's some what are some things that you'd like to reiterate to uh, to business owners, professionals and even, you know, individuals that they should uh, implement? Yeah, well, so starting with business owners, you know, um, do you have a trusted advisor yet? Have you done it? You know, we've talked about it. We've talked about you finding somebody you can partner with that you trust that you're working with like you would with like your accountant or your attorney, somebody who is involved in your company and helping you actually meet your goals through your technology. Have you done that? Do you actually or do you still have the old style IT guy who, you know, is the nephew of a friend of yours who's helping you out from time to time and just helping you limp by. You know, have you done that? So I'd say that's number one. Go ahead and take that advice. Go out and start looking for somebody in your area that can really uh, help you out and make sure that you're taking advantage of all the tools and all the best practices that are out there that make your, your business a better business and to reduce liability and help you succeed. That's the first thing. Next thing, uh, this goes to everybody. Are you using MFA yet? Have you done it? Have you implemented it? Do it. Do it already. Implement multi-factor authentication everywhere. Turn it on, please. You know, it's not <clears throat> going to solve all your problems. Not, not all of them, but it's going to prevent a lot of them, a lot of problems. So please turn on MFA. Uh, are you implementing any best practices in your environment? Have you looked at your password policy? Have you updated it? Have you implemented a password policy? Do you have any Windows 7 systems in your environment? Get rid of them. You shouldn't have any Windows 7 systems in your company anymore. It's end of life. So do you have a lifecycle management program in place? Like, are you regularly refreshing your equipment based on a timetable that fits your budget and your needs. You know, these are just a couple of them, but uh, man, we talked about so much already this year and we, we didn't even have a full year worth of podcasts, but we covered a lot of ground. But the point is go back and watch those videos, please go back yeah. and watch them. And then have you done any of the things we said to do start doing them? You can't get it all done at once. It's too much. It's overwhelming. There's so many things that need to happen to make things right, but get started do something, pick one, do one a month, right? You know, implement multi-factor authentication or find somebody to help you do that. Go find that person. Then month two, ask them to implement it. Month three, you know, get the next thing, but get started now. I love it. And, uh, you know, these, a lot of these suggestions that you're making, actually the majority of them are things that business owners can do themselves. It's not even necessarily that, you know, things that they need to, you know, some of the things that, uh, that have been mentioned, they may want to hire someone or like you mentioned, partner with, mm -hmm. with someone who knows what they're doing. Um, but even the first steps of these things, business owners can implement themselves. And, uh, 
you know, for a second, you almost got a little mafia on us when you when you were talking about MFA and you were just like, do it, do it. I thought do you were going to re- <laughs> reach through the screen there for a second. But, um, you know, something like that, that's something that business owners can implement on their own. It's not that hard to do. And it's super yeah. important. You can implement it on your own, uh, at least on websites that you actually engage with. Turning it on for your domain through Office 365, that's a little bit more challenging. But there are, you know, as a person, as an individual, implement it in your private life. You know, your email probably has it. Turn it on there. You know, um, I know that Twitter has it. Social media platforms have it. Turn it on. Do what you can in your life to start protecting yourself and making a habit. But start implementing multi-factor authentication. Get a password manager. Go get one. Go get LastPass. If you're trying to do it for your business, again, you might want to talk to your partner first because they might have a preferred vendor that they work with and they might have special pricing and and actually have the business level um, uh, package for you with that service. But if you don't have somebody you're working with, don't wait then. If you're not going to partner with somebody, you're not planning on doing that, go get a password manager. Start using it. Start improving your passwords. Stop using, you know, your name, one, two, three, pound or your birthday or your, you know, the name of your dog. Like it's got to, you got to start putting good security in place. Just go for it. Well, that leads us to our, uh, to our recap of the recap. Sure. What we, what we do every time, let's make it simple. 30 seconds or less. What are the lessons in technology or IT that we've learned in 2021? 30 seconds or less. So you've got to remain flexible. COVID's not over and there are other new challenges and new expectations in the workforce. So embrace the cloud, uh, be ready to allow your staff to work from home or from other locations. The other thing is hacking's not going away. It's only getting worse. Do all that you can to protect your business. And the third thing is we put out some advice this year for everybody. Go back and watch those videos and take it. Implement MFA, find a trusted advisor, get a password manager, implement best practice, just start making improvement in your environment, do something, get started.